everyone. This is April with the My 3 cs reupholstering a seat cushion tutorial. Uh, as you can see, I used it here on an old rocking chair that had a drabby looking cushion. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need first is your supplies, and we're going to run through that list real quick. You'll need some really pretty fabric that you pick out. You'll need the cushion and the backing from your chair. If you don't have that, you'll have to cut those out. Um, you'll need a staple gun. You'll need uh, a permanent marker if you're cutting out the cushion for your chair. Uh, pencils, so you can mark the fabric, staples for the staple gun, scissors, and needle nose pliers just in case you have a boo-boo while you're stapling. Now the cushion, I had to cut it out and I used an electric carving knife. I found some tutorials on YouTube and those are really good so you could probably check that out. Um, for your fabric, if you have some wrinkles, you'll probably need an iron just to smooth it out. And that's about it for supplies. Okay, so now we're going to measure the fabric. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out our fabric all nice and, and flat and make sure that your pattern is going the way that you want it to. You don't want to end up with a weird pattern or maybe it going sideways and you're going to put your cushion and the back wooden part of the seat right there so you can measure. Don't use a permanent marker because that's going to go right through your fabric and ruin your project. You're going to use that little pencil there and about a half an inch to an inch is where you want to mark the fabric from where it's going up onto the wooden piece of your seat. Just make sure that you're using enough fabric to play with because you're going to go back later and trim all the excess fabric anyway. So it's okay to use a little bit extra. Um, that way you don't make a mistake and that way you can make sure that it's nice and neat and snug on the cushion. You can see me marking it there again right about eh, there. And then I think I'm on my last little area there to mark making sure that I have it nice and neat about an inch to a half an inch if not a little bit more. Straightening out the fabric And then after we're done marking it, we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and we're going to trim all the way around so that way we have the piece that we're going to work with. Okay, so now we're going to start stapling our fabric onto the board part of our uh, seat. So you just get your stapler, make sure that you have staples in it. You don't want to start a project and not have enough staples. Fix the fabric staple it on one side just a couple of little staples there to keep it tagged on there or tacked on there take the opposite side make sure that it's a little bit snug here I'm just kinda trying to make it look all nice and stuff so that you can understand what I'm trying to um, to show you but really you might want to make it a little bit more snug that I'm doing here just so that way it's nice and and pretty and secure when you're putting that seat and that cushion back on your chair so make sure there's no wrinkles or anything use that staple gun, staple it, move the corners out of the way because you don't want to use the corners right now that's kind of one of the last things that you want to staple staple that other side and then I'm gonna to go to the next side and do the same thing just flip it over get those corners out of the way pull it a little bit tighter than I'm pulling there you want to make sure it's nice and snug okay move all the little wrinkles out of the way and then staple and then, oops, I did a boo-boo. Uh-oh, that's why I have those needle nose pliers. Don't fret. Just grab those bad boys, pull out your staple, and just keep on chugging. Okay? Next, back to the staples, or back to the stapler. Pull that fabric nice and tight. And then just make sure that your staple gun is in the proper spot to get a good staple in. See, I'm just trying it there real quick to see where I got it. Boom. Done. Much better. Okay, so now I'm just going to keep going around making sure that I'm stapling as I go. So from here we're going to fold our corners because that can get a little bit tricky and the way that I folded these were kind of like hospital corners in the military so if you ever had to make a bed in the military you know what I'm talking about. So you smooth that out, flip that over just like so 
Make sure that it's nice and clean so that there's no wrinkles, just as best as you possibly can. I'm sure there's tutorials online, so if for those of you that don't know how to do a hospital corner can practice, make sure it's nice right there. You're gonna staple it there, and then that'll be about it. You're done with the corners. Okay, so the last thing that you're gonna do before you apply this to your chair is to trim the, all the excess fabric off. So take your scissors, trim off the fabric, and voila, there's your cushion. Beautiful chevrons for me. Uh, here at My3Cs, I did a rocking chair that this is going to look fabulous on. If you want to check it out, go to my website or my Facebook page, uh, My3Cs. And now, it is ready to enjoy. Here's my son enjoying it in the beautiful Florida weather. Enjoying a little story on his iPad, rocking away. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.